Hello, I'm Urze Brad from Fluxim, a Swiss company that specializes in the development of simulation software and characterization hardware for electronic devices based on organic and emerging materials. In my presentation, I'm going to discuss our recent work on the simulation-based assessment of microtexture functionality in curved display backlight units. Nowadays, there's a wide range of applications based on non-flat optical structures, from OLED car lights to flexible luminaires and curved OLC displays. All of these applications require dedicated features for control of light guiding and outcoupling due to the curved geometry. However, most microtextures for beam shaping are designed for flat devices and their appropriateness for curved geometries needs to be evaluated. Here, we consider, by means of optical simulation, the impact of curved geometries on beam shaping and control of light outcoupling via microtextures in backlight units for all C displays. Here is the outline of my presentation. After a brief review of a generic all CD backlight unit layout, and the identification of its key functional components, the modeling targets are defined, and the differences in the design challenges between flat and curved geometries are discussed. We then proceed to the discussion of the physical model of the backlight unit and its implementation in the optics module of Fluxim's large area device simulation tool, LAOS. Model and implementation are validated with benchmark simulations of a standard flat backlight unit. The model is then applied to the simulation of a curved backlight unit with the same structure as the flat benchmark. Eventually, the directional light out coupling from the curved backlight unit is optimized via a dedicated brightness enhancement film featuring micro textures with position dependent asymmetry. Let's start with a brief review of OLCD backlight units. In the OLCD technology, the brightness is provided by a backlight unit that illuminates the OLCD stack from the rear side. Here, we consider the common case of an edge-lit backlight unit, where a light from an LED is coupled into the backlight from the side and exits towards the LCD stack at the top. In addition to the light guide plate with side-emitting LEDs, a standard OLCD backlight unit contains a bottom reflector sheet, a diffusion film, as well as one or several brightness enhancement films. The light guide plate itself enables the directed propagation of the light via total internal reflection. However, for the outcoupling of the light, some bottom roughness features whose density increases with the distance from the LED are required. The beams are then widened and redirected by the action of diffuser and brightness enhancement film elements. The main challenge in the design of a standard flat backlight unit is to achieve uniform outcoupling at the top surface in terms of both spatial intensity distribution and angular characteristics in spite of the edge illumination. In the case of a strongly curved backlight unit, on the other hand, the internal angular distribution of the light in the light guide, as well as the directional characteristics of the light out coupling, are drastically altered. Most importantly, there is the tendency for light to be emitted sidewards, which leads to the appearance of dark edges. In addition to the uniformity of the spatial intensity distribution and of the angular characteristics, there is therefore also the aspect of directionality of the light out coupling to be considered as a simulation target. Let's now turn to the definition and implementation of the model for the OLCD backlight unit. The full backlight unit is implemented in both flat and curved geometries for simulation with the optics module of Fluxim's large area organic semiconductor simulator, LAOS, which makes use of a 3D ray tracing algorithm 
for the modeling of light propagation in complex geometries. As the presence of micron-sized features renders the simulation of large areas excessively time-consuming, the simulation domain is restricted to a stripe containing a single LED unit. For the light source, a wide spectrum corresponding to the osram duris S2 LED is considered, with appropriate renormalization due to the incoupling from air into the light guide medium with n equal to 1.5, which restricts the angular range of the spectrum inside the light guide plate. Bottom and side walls are modeled as a fully reflective casing, such that the light can escape only via the top surface. The top of the light guide features local void structures extending along the stripe length, which serve to restrict the angular range of lateral light out coupling. The bottom of the light guide plate is patterned with domes that increase in density and order with growing distance from the LED, such as to compensate for the decaying light intensity in order to maintain an even level of light out coupling. For the diffuser, a phenomenological model is used that reproduces the beam widening characteristics reported in the IMOS spec sheet. This action of the diffuser on the beams is encoded in a bidirectional distribution function, which is then used in Laos optics to describe the beam propagation at the diffuser surface. Finally, the brightness enhancement film is modeled as a triangular prism sheet with axes along or perpendicular to the stripe length. As with the domes and cuboids, these shapes are defined in the flat geometry and are then transferred to the curved geometry via bending transformation within the topography part of the Laos tool. In the following, the model is validated by application to a flat backlight unit and comparison with corresponding measurement data. For the flat benchmark, we simulate first the bare light guide plate plus reflective casing. While a decent level of uniformity is reached, the decay of the intensity away from the LED remains visible, and there is a small increase of the intensity towards the far end. These characteristics are also observed in the measurement. Evaluation of the luminance at 10 different points yields a slightly lower level of uniformity. Overall, there is a good qualitative agreement between simulation and measurement. This also holds for the angular characteristics, where the measured sample included the diffuser element. Obviously, both the cuboid features and the diffuser sheet are necessary to reproduce the observed restriction of the angular range of light out coupling. Now we apply the validated model to the backlight unit that is curved into a half cylindrical shape. While the backlight unit is strongly curved, the detector remains flat. At a distance of 20 cm, and including the diffuser element, the uniformity reaches levels of close to 80%. The simulation overestimates slightly the measured uniformity of around 65% for the central region of the backlight unit but reflects correctly the still present decay of the intensity away from the LED side. Interestingly, the angular range of light out coupling is restricted even in the absence of any diffuser. In this case, the measurement was taken for the system including the brightness enhancement film. Again, the simulation reproduces well the central angular characteristics of the backlight unit with a slight tendency to overestimate performance. In order to improve the directional outcoupling of light towards the top screen, an optimized brightness enhancement film with position-dependent asymmetry in the shape of the triangle prism is designed. As compared to the system without brightness enhancement film, the prism structure always improves the uniformity. However, depending on the orientation of the prism, the outcoupling efficiency might actually be hampered by the presence of the texture. Only for the custom designed brightness enhancement film with asymmetric prisms, both uniformity and outcoupling efficiency are enhanced. If the 
practice enhancement film with transfers axis and variable prism asymmetry replaces the regular brightness enhancement film with axis along the stripe length, reduced angular uniformity is observed. However, combination of the two brightness enhancement films results in an even better angular uniformity than for the regular XPF alone, without hampering the light-out coupling efficiency. In conclusion, we presented a full physical model of a curved backlight unit and its implementation in the 3D ray tracing software allows optics. The ray tracing simulation shows good agreement with measured characteristics, both in terms of spatial uniformity and angular characteristics of light out coupling. Directional light extraction from the curved backlight unit is further improved by the design of a dedicated brightness enhancement film based on triangular prisms with position dependent asymmetry. For more information on optical simulation with Laos Optics, you are invited to visit our website at www.fluxim.com. I would like to thank our project partners from FlexEnable for providing samples and measurement data and to acknowledge to you for financial support in the framework of the Phenomenon project. And thank you for your kind attention.